Crunchyroll is an amazing platform if you're an anime lover, but the platform isn't perfect and can sometimes throw error codes your way that can hamper the watching experience. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidor Technology and in this video we're talking about the Crunchyroll Shack Error 1002, what causes it, how you can fix it and how you can get back to binge watching your favorite anime. So Crunchyroll uh, error code SHAC1002 is generally a connectivity issue on your end and unfortunately there is not a lot of official documentation from Crunchyroll on this one. So uh, we're just going to go through a very basic list of uh, fixes that you can try and hopefully that will resolve the issue for you. The first one is to just restart your browser or uh, sort of restart your internet connection just to make sure that you have access to the internet you can head over to your browser and you can run a speed test uh, something like this just to ensure that you have uh, internet connectivity while you're trying to access crunchyroll so uh, let's get that out of the way first Next is to clear out your browsing data. Uh, corrupt browsing data can cause a lot of problems, with, especially with streaming websites. So it's always a good idea to try and remove uh, the old corrupted cache before you uh, start troubleshooting other methods. Now to do this in Edge, all you have to do is click on these three dots, scroll down and uh, then click on settings. In here, head over to privacy search and services, then scroll down and you will see the clear browsing data section right here. Click on choose what to clear and this window will appear now all you have to do is uh, select all time in the time range and then uh, make sure that cookies and the site data and cached images and files at least these two options are selected you can go ahead and select everything if you want um, that will make it a little inconvenient for you to use your browser because all of your saved passwords and autofill form data and so on and so forth will be gone uh, but it will give your browser a clean start so just select uh, cookies and other site data cached images and files and any other uh, files or any other data that you're comfortable deleting from your browser once you've selected everything go back and click on clear now uh, let your browser do its thing restart it and then try accessing crunchyroll again uh, another thing that can be very problematic with streaming websites are your extensions now generally they don't really do much on most streaming websites but sometimes uh, a particular extension does not play well with the browser running the uh, streaming site in this case crunchyroll and that can cause problems now to fix this what you have to do is head over to your extensions page uh, click on manage extensions just reach whatever page in your browser that allows you to see all of your extensions in one go as you can see uh, all of my extensions are right here uh, now what you have to do is uh, disable all of these extensions using this slider in my case uh, for you it might be a button once all of the extensions are disabled what you have to do is you're going to enable them one at a time so that you can find the extension that's causing problems for you uh, once you find the extension that's the root cause of the problem then you can go ahead and either find a replacement for it or disable that extension every time you are on crunchyroll because that's what's going to uh, just remove that hassle Finally, if none of these solutions have worked for you, your best bet is to uh, either look for an update to your existing browser. There's a chance that the developer might be aware of it and has uh, already issued a patch or an update that can fix this problem. So uh, you can find an update for your browser by heading over to these three dots, then going down to settings and then uh, on the other end, heading over to the about uh, section. And as you can see, my browser is up to date. So if your browser is up to date and you're still facing this issue, try uh, switching to another browser, preferably that doesn't run on the same engine as your old browser because that could also be the problem. So if you're on, uh, let's say Edge, try switching to Firefox. I'm not sure if Firefox runs on Chromium at the moment, but since different browsers look at websites in a different manner, there is a chance that switching to another browser can help you fix the problem. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what you think about these videos and I'll be there talking to you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.